Okay, welcome back to Beyond the Barbell. We are NPC figure stars today. Um, for starters, let's thank everyone for continuously supporting Beyond the Barbell, uh, the constant engagement that we've been receiving. Again, please, please keep tuning in. We have a lot of updates going on. We do have an upcoming seminar on behalf of Beyond the Barbell and Iron Alliance Gym in Minneapolis. So that stuff will be dropped this Monday. So stay tuned and get ready to start registering. Because guess what? It is a free posing workshop. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's get into it. We'd like to welcome new and new IFBB Figure Pro, Deshane Price. Welcome, yes. Deshane. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank oh, you for me. No, thank you for your time. Because mm -hmm. I understand you do have a busy schedule. You do also have children. So thank you for, you know, working around their schedule to meet with us today. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Daylight, on daylight savings time too, because I mean, you <laughs> lost, we all lost an hour. <laughs> yes. Let me, let me get the eyes up. Of course, my eyes. All right. <laughs> well, for starters, the Shane, you know, the number one question that we always ask everyone, why figure what drew you into the figure division? Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I didn't know anything about bodybuilding. And when I, well, I start training, well, working out in 99, I signed up for a membership. And um, just because not knowing anything about bodybuilding, getting in shape or anything, I was just a small girl. So I picked it up as a hobby. And I knew a trainer, he's well known, Robert McAdory in Huntsville. And oh. I was training up under him like several years after playing in the gym. And I always told him that um, I don't think my body could transition to what I see on stage when I start looking at bodybuilding. So I've always told him, could you get me ready to step on the stage, but not step on the stage? <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm shy. I don't like being the center of attention. Gotcha. But I like what, you know, training does for your body and how my body looks. But I've always wanted to be stage ready, but never step on stage. And and he was like, and if I train you, you're going on stage. Okay. <laughs> so that was 2017. And maybe he was like, let me know when you get serious. And um, so... To myself, I looked up a Beverly International like diet and I start following it for um well he told me figure because I didn't know, you know, bikini figure, whatever. And he was like, You have a physique for figure. And he was like, but physique as well, because my body can build. And I was like, what they do? And he was like, they perform. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, the quarter turns are enough. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> was enough. So, um, so he said, you, we can do the, um, I was like, okay, I'm ready. So by that time I was two weeks, like controlling my body and my mind of being on some type of clean diet. Gotcha. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. And he was like, okay, well, we can do the Lee Haney show. And that was 2017. And so I trained for six weeks mm -hmm. for the and I competed in the, I think, Masters. Okay. And I won. And I won that show. So, but after that, it was nothing. And I was like, and people was like, you're perfect, you're a bodybuilder. I was like, no, I just do it part-time. It's just whenever I want to get in really good shape, then I compete. So I always tell people I'm not a serious competitor. Oh, honey. And serious I, competitor. And then, yeah. and, then flat, and then fast forward to last week. <laughs> <laughs> well then I competed in 2021 I did the Tri-City my my we were set for Memphis but I was like three weeks ahead of schedule so we did Tri-City okay. then I is and then I did um Pittsburgh Masters mm -hmm. uh I won Tri-City I won Memphis 
and masters i came in top five i injured my psoas muscle inner thigh and so like two three weeks out i barely trained or under trained and i guess i can kind of got like in a depression mood so i really wasn't following the diet but i came in top five and they told me that uh it was my conditioning in which i knew why and so so i took off last year to heal my so ass and also to get um and i was tr- i had an online coach but i didn't have a trainer like gotcha. in mm-hmm. So I told my online coach that, um, you know, I was going to take a rest. I was going to heal, try to heal and find a a, tr- a local trainer to um, actually push me lower body because my upper body develops off of five pound dumbbells, really. So, <laughs> so long story short, um, I end up running into Otto Montgomery. He's a IF um, BB pro in physique. Okay. That's my trainer and my coach is legacy physique ryan hinton so i have a yeah so um and i have like a slight case of scoliosis so just being out of alignment with hips and me just squatting like with the barbell the dumbbell or the the bar i could be out for like a week or so so end up going to the chiropractor which i was scared of i don't like hearing nothing pop (laughs) <laughs> but but it made it easier. So now, I mean, and he also trained me to the point where I really don't do squats. I do other leg stuff to build. Mm-hmm. So this is the best condition my legs have been for the Arnold. And the fast forward, like I said, I don't know anything really about, you know, chasing a pro card, what's next, this show, pick that show. Well, I to do the Arnold. <laughs> And we're happy you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm not much behind it. But, <laughs> and True. then we got closer and he was like, well, you know, if you win, you know, you get your pro car. I'm like, huh, pro car? I was like, I'm not, you know, I was like, I can be NPC all my life. <laughs> Just <laughs> you, compete when I compete. Uh, <laughs> we nah. need to take that next step. Next Listen, step. As, as your test. <laughs> Yeah, and but like I said, it wasn't for the pro car really. But I've always heard people, and whenever I just go to shows, people would just say, "Are you a pro?" And I'm like, "No, I'm not." You know, and they was like, "When are you gonna get your pro car?" And I was like, "I don't know." And I was like, "It's just whenever I feel it or whatever." So I did the Arnold, and he told me, of course, I end up winning. And what was crazy that show started at eight o'clock and was. And I think we were done like at 837. Wow. So as soon as I got back there and was getting ready to pump up, I didn't even get my my candy or anything. My sugar. Yeah. And- yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like how they just they rush it backstage. We they- gotta uh, we gotta let the viewers know exactly how bad she really is because not only did she win, you know masters overall okay but she also won the open overall so she came and took a clean sweep okay yep. when i and i'm I'm gonna put the pictures up i'm gonna definitely put the pictures up so you guys can see but man her structure mm-hmm. her the conditioning i mean the win was well deserved 100%. so again congratulations hundred percent. Also, as we're talking, I mean, I can be a manager. Um, there's a show that I'm going to be hosting in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, June. Uh, what's the Titan show? June 10th. Yeah, but okay. we might have her in something before then. I don't want to put it you out. Should, she, no. Yes, but put June 10th. We'll send you the information. Uh, Z is going to be guest posing. Um, it's a Masters Pro show. I don't think you should only stick to Masters shows, by the way. Right. I think you should also do open, like, you know, to get, try to qualify for the Olympia, you know, just, you know, just because you can. Uh, <laughs> but the the Titan show I'm going to be hosting, Z is going to be, um, Z is going to be a guest poser there. And it's a, it's an NPC show, but there's a figure pro division. And I think there's a cash prize for it. I don't remember how much it was, 
um, for the, the only IFBB uh, division there are women's figure. Okay. Um, and it's in Atlanta. Another okay. division this year, but- um, Oh, wellness and have... pro wellness. Okay. Right? It's pro wellness and pro figure masters. Um, and I believe they're, it's cash prize. Um, if you're looking to, you know, chill <laughs> and just walk <laughs> into a show and just try to, you know, see how you feel and get comfortable on stage, I think that's something, I mean, if you don't do anything beforehand, or even if you can, I believe that's something that you would really, really. All righty. Well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, look at us. We're going to send her some shows, man. Hey. Are like, I'm and supposed to meet her already. So but she's, I, you after I looked at your structure and looked at your pictures, I was like, hey, you know, there's a show and a couple of <laughs> Could definitely hop in that. <laughs> Which one? Try. Oh, girl, and, where? Hmm? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No question. Where are you? Where are you from? Where are you based? Huntsville, Alabama, Madison. Oh. Like from Atlanta, three and a half, four hours. Oh, Alabama! You know, I've never been there. I'm a New Yorker through and through. So I'm like Alabama. Where's that on the map? I'm kidding. <laughs> I was just in Alabama last week. Yeah, but you're no longer a New Yorker. You, 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 you for the South now. You no longer a New Yorker. She left. Yeah, us. New kind Yorkers of love Alabama once they get here, especially from school. You ever heard of Alabama a &M University? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, that's, yeah, I got some runners down there. That's Huntsville. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm normal Alabama, but yeah, that's Huntsville, Alabama. So. Okay. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning on, I haven't officially did it, but I'm planning on doing Tri-City. I haven't sent my contract in yet, but that was supposed to be my last show. And then I said I was going to do one maybe next year for when I turn 50 and then that would be it. No. <laughs> Girl, you, need to, you need to go into your right. 50s. Do, your, your body deserves to be on stage. Everybody else can hear. How young are you right now? I'll be 49 March 19th. Ooh. Hey, March, baby, I'm a, I'm, I turn some other age next week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, March. But yes, <laughs> but I mean, 49. Oh my gosh. Beautiful skin, yeah. healthy, beautiful structure comes in well conditioned. And this is why I say it all the time. Do not be sleeping on these masters women, y'all. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm a mature muscle. Okay. <laughs> also still a fitness you know lifestyle look how young and beautiful youthful she looks thank you yeah. thank yeah. you yeah if you told me you was 30 i'd be like oh should i yeah i see that <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying please don't limit yourself to just master shows um because yeah. a week like yours is one that um belongs on stage and, I, and you look at yourself you know of course you don't want to compare yourself to other people but again it's our sport you look at the Olympians on stage and you see someone of your structure and you see somebody of your muscular density and your maturity, there's no reason as to why I can't see you on that stage as well. So, you know, and I, I get that a lot from professional bodybuilders and just, you know, people that know the sport coaches, judges, but I guess I don't see that in me. I don't see my Join the club. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> We don't a good athlete because you are a perfectionist. And typically when we are that anal and we just don't see it and we're consistently nitpicking and nitpicking and nitpicking, yeah. honestly, that lets me know that you are a good athlete because you're always looking to consistently better yourself. Yeah. 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 Rather than, yeah, I mean, I don't need this. I don't need that. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Oh, like, every <laughs> yeah yeah but um but a lot of people can't believe that i'm shy very shy oh i mean because <laughs> when you first put on that bikini getting on stage and allowing somebody to judge you i mean it takes a lot <laughs> yeah i guess the the plus about that show it was so rushed i didn't have time to really get in my head because mm -hmm. I got back there I had to put on my shoes and they were glazing me up yeah. and as I, um like I said I didn't get a chance to pump up 
So as I was waiting to go on stage, I dropped down and did push-ups. Yep. I probably did about a hundred. Perfect. And I still could go. And those girls was looking like, how many did you? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I just, <laughs> I'm just trying to get and yes. Yep. Got on stage. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. That's um that's a beautiful thing. We we you 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 mentioned your your coach. Um for those who don't know your coach, send say your coach's name one more time so that we we also give a shout out to your coach, your trainer, um, and then also, you know, yourself. My coach is Ron Hinton from um, Legacy Physique. Mm -hmm. My trainer is Otto Montgomery, and I pose with um, Kim, Bionic Kim. Okay. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. Okay. 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 So uh, we can keep talking. Uh <laughs> There, there's so much that we want to ask you and we want to, we want to dive into it, but what's, what's, um, what part of your prep, um, was a struggle for you? Like, did you, did you reach a point where you were like, you know what, I can't do this. This is just overwhelming. Or did you not have that? Did you just have a, a prep where it was just easy and steady and you just. Oh, no. Every 30 minutes I quit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> but. <laughs> But no, my eating is um, the biggest thing. Like I said, working out, I do that anyways. It's just, you know, the extra push of what I wouldn't do if my trainer wasn't there. Uh, but going to the gym is mental. You got physical. a sweet tooth? So, huh? You got a sweet tooth? Actually, no, I like um, bread. I love bread, <laughs> I love pasta. I can't wait to have a fried bologna sandwich and a peanut oh, butter. <laughs> I haven't had a peanut butter sandwich in probably about five years, but all of a sudden I'm craving a peanut butter sandwich. That's the oh. oh, the peanut butter, man. <laughs> and I love, I love cheese and crackers. I don't eat bad. My main thing is I don't eat enough. So um, Ron, what, may, what had me, I guess, get back into meal planning meal prepping he actually made it easy my my meal plan is very very generic I don't need all that extra stuff it I have anxiety at times too so but nope. like my meal was is um a half a cup of mixed fruit and three ounces of chicken and then the next is four ounces with uh three whole eggs and then four ounces with a half a cup of white rice yeah and it just those other three meals change with fish, with the yeah. right right green yeah. bean or and so it was simple. It was basic, so I was able to get in the groove of this instead of the half a cup of vinegar red with some diced tomatoes. And <laughs> so, I'm like, I barely want to eat now, especially what y'all want me to eat. Yeah, yeah. I go kind of crazy after the Arnold show. <laughs> it scared my trainer. <laughs> Well, but it's it's a thing. It is definitely a thing. The ideally, the more you suffer in a prep, the harder that rebound is because you've just deprived yourself so much, and it it turns also to more of a psychological thing because you haven't had, and also you know that you could possibly go, be going back into something. So it's kind of like a let me get in as much as I can get in, and it's like once you get a taste of something, it's almost like going down the rabbit hole it's very yeah. hard to actually stop it yes yes and he was like oh my god he was like I didn't know you could eat that much he was <laughs> in my stomach I'm telling you it had got <laughs> he was like why you didn't he was like if I would have seen this I would have stopped you he said you scared me <laughs> oh my god. listen like, right here <laughs> and it'll go down yep yes <laughs> yes right. yes that going down that rabbit hole. So last week, starting probably mid of last week, I was able to pull myself back up to try to get ready for the Tri City. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow. Hey, but that's okay. I, I tell people all the time, whether it be in prep, right after prep, your reverse diet, everything is always going to be a learning process. You're always yeah. going to learn something new. No prep, no off season improvement season is ever the same. There's always something 
learn. So never, you know, put yourself down about anything or anything like that. Just, okay, I learned it. Move on. Now I know what to do next time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is so true. Yeah. And he ended up sending me, Ron ended up sending me my reverse diet before I told him about the Tri-City and it had a cheat meal, a weekly cheat meal. And I was like, I get a cheat meal for the tri-. He was like, uh, no, that was before you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's I know. Funny. Far away though. You you almost there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what the trainer keeps saying. And that's what's making it easy as well. So for my meal prepping, my meals are easy. For my trainer, he's training to compete possibly again mm-hmm. close to the end of the year. So I have a cardio person. I have a person <laughs> train and training me like a guy. It helps. And and then so I have moving, a, moving here so I can have a cardio buddy. Hmm. What'd you say? I said, so Lou, when you move in here, so I can have a cardio buddy. She's trying to so get cool. me to leave uh, New York to go to hot Atlanta uh, for some cardio. I mean, I did it before. It was cute. Uh, uh, you know, we'll see. <laughs> My, so we fast together, fast the cardio. We train, we do night cardio together. So it's easy. Oh, I love and, that down for about 30 minutes and talk about food and what we go hit up Uh so we're going through the same thing so it's not like you know I just have somebody just listening to me and be like you know so so he's suffering as well so he's on a meal plan as well so oh it's it's super great when you have someone and then you and as you get deeper into this there are some really 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 dope um figure girls that you'll come across and you know we we like to look out for each other right um, and you know, I also find that with women's bodybuilding, they're super supportive. Um, so when you when you're backstage and you start asking questions, you know, you you be yourself, you be authentically you. Um, mm-hmm. People will gravitate towards your energy and your body and just you as a, as a person. So you have these questions, and and I I think that's a that's great in our in our in our division um, because Z and I prepped together last year. You know, I was doing the the Arnold, she was doing the mm-hmm. Arnold's. And um, we both were suffering at the same time. So it's, yeah. it's great when you have that, you know, you have someone who, you know, of course they can empathize with you and they could, they're, they're there and they're suffering with you and you're just, <laughs> and you're going through it. So I would say that going into your, this now, this new career, this new pro status, you know, you dive deep into it because I know I did. And I'm like, you know, having Z by my side, you know, to bounce questions off of, because I'm still learning too. We're all still learning. So run from anybody who thinks that they know everything because right. they don't. Girl, yeah. run. run. Yes. And, yeah. you know, and you just find the folks who are willing to help. Um, and then of course you try things out on your own. If they're mm-hmm. telling you, you know, so you got some folks who might want to sabotage your prep too. I'm not going to lie. It might be your peak week. And they're like, yo, throw in that, um, that milkshake in your diet. It really works wonders. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, you can differentiate between what you want to do and what, and what you want to listen to. But I would say, you know, you dive deep into it. There's some cool people that you're going to meet along the way. And I'm, and I'm so excited to see you on that stage for real. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it, it definitely helps But somebody's on the same path as you because, whew, and I'm single and I tell people I do not have time. No. So now, go out. <laughs> so now, easier without a you know. <laughs> and that's why I tell me that if if you wouldn't mind before I start competing or training for a show, and there's no way you can get it. No. <laughs> I I already mean, when you have, when you're with somebody who also you know is within the industry and you know they understand, but I think it's probably a bit harder for you know couples who one's a bodybuilder one's not and they don't necessarily really understand what you're going through and me being an introvert like if you're somebody who's not in it with me and doesn't understand that I honestly I prefer to be just single so I can just go through all of this and not have to deal with all of that (laughs) that's me that's me that's me yeah okay well um are so you're, and I, we, we, these questions are all all over the place, and I apologize because I'm not going on script. Apologies, Z. Uh, <laughs> now, um, are you also? Do you also work in the fitness world, or do you 
do you not and you have to rush to make the time or you you know are you a trainer or are you no I am not in the fitness industry okay. every a lot of people want me to train I told them I don't have time for training I barely have time for myself to train myself I'm actually an engineer uh, I love that oh, oh. <laughs> Been in uh, my career for 24 years. So, yeah, so I'm um, actually an engineer. So, yeah, I get up four o'clock in the morning and do fast and come back home, get my son dressed for school, my 11 year old, and then go to work. And I train probably about, well, I get off, take him. He has travel ball, but thank goodness my um, <clears throat> his coach is my nephew. So, oh. Drop him off to him, and then I go train maybe from six thirty to eight eight thirty. Pick him up, you know, and that's how my day every day pretty much. And but yeah, it's it's nonstop. I wash clothes, and they're on the sofa. <laughs> my house is getting it only gets attention if I'm in that area for that hot second. So a lot of stuff. stuff <laughs> Oh, I love these <laughs> for the meal prep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God. You know what? This is great. That's so good to, to hear that because we got people who are also trainers and we got folks who are not trainers, doctors, nurses, engineers now, um, veterans, you know, in the military and they still make it work, you yeah. know, and, yes. and, and you're, you're a living testament of that, right? You make it work. You're a mother, you're a full-time worker. You're, you know, you're, you're getting it done. You're a pro. Yeah. Listen, girl, props to you. And sunk in though. Oh, it will. I'm gonna keep saying it. Cause see, let's just keep saying it. She a pro. <laughs> she <laughs> she's a pro. She's a pro who has a children. Okay. She's a pro with a reg. I'm not gonna say that training is not a regular job because I'm a trainer. I'm a posing coach, but we live our lives in a gym. So to not have that career with gym where it makes it more convenient for you mm -hmm. to get your work done, your cardio done, your actual training done, okay, to actually work somewhere outside of that, still get it done on the level of the type of occupation that she has, okay? It can get done. There's never an excuse. You can get it done. She is a true testament to that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And are there any words of wisdom or, or motivational things that you that really stuck by you during your prep or that you want to share with people? Um, well, I guess people that's already in the business or, you know, that's a professional or bodybuild compete. They, my word of wisdom is the people that I see in the gym, even just on a regular I've been going to the same gym, I guess, since the doors open and a lot of people have and everybody looks the same as when they first came in. But they don't know anything about um, eating. And th that's my biggest thing. And a lot of girls come to me, too, about, you know, don't want to build muscle or build too much, but they don't know anything about nutrition. Right. And I give them pointers, but then, you know, they think I'm a nutrition. I'm not. You got to do the same thing I did, even though I, you know, I know all, a lot for myself. But you need a meal prep coach. You need your trainer. And, you know, and go forth that, especially if they are, they are, they are wanting to be bodybuilders, um, figure wellness and things of that sort. And I tell them, I I'm not specialized in it, so but they need to um, meal prep. I think um, nutrition is the main thing because, like, even when I was I stayed on my meal plan, I maintained my muscle density and and stayed lean. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But, but we eat everything, and then you know they are. I, we have I have one female should do probably three hours of cardio. Because she's trying to get back to that. She don't weight train, but she's trying to get back to that high school weight, the number on the scale. Right. Correct. And every time I see, I'll be wanting to pull off the treadmill, but I can't. <laughs> and she'll I, look, she'll oh. look at 
He'll look down and I'm like, you have to wait, train. You're sagging. Skinny fat. That's what we call it. It might yeah. sound harsh, but that is the term that we use when you are only doing a crap ton of cardio. Yeah, you'll lose weight, but then you'll have all this excess skin. And a lot of the times with, you know, these cardio bunnies, depending on really what the nutrition is like, the limbs that end up being very lean and skinny. Okay. But then you're still suffering in the gut area. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a crap ton of cardio is not the answer. Yeah. Cardio and, and weight training and nutrition. Oh, wait. And proper rest. That is the equation for success. That's what I struggle with. Uh, not enough sleep. Ah. Got it. And I could be, you know, my body still just wake up like in six, six and a half hours, which I try to do the seven to eight. Mm -hmm. but, and I've never, I can't remember the last time I dreamed. I actually went to a sleep doctor or whatever, but yeah. And, and the medicine they gave me to put me like in the rim, it just made me drowsy the next day. So I don't take, but I can't remember the last time I've been in a deep, deep sleep. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Um, and so that's the thing I'm trying. That's my struggle, I guess. And I'm trying to see and, uh, and I'm starting to understand how important rest is. Yeah. 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 That's when your body changes. Yes. You know, so you, you prioritize that as best as you can. And honestly, some people don't need the eight, nine hours. Some people really can thrive and be good off of six hours. You know, people, if, if some don't understand it, it's how your body, if your body wakes you up at that six o'clock mark every day, you know, or it's at six hour mark every day, well, then you know what? And you're able to function. That's maybe just you. Um, or, you know, you can nap throughout the day if you can. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't um, force it if it doesn't happen. You know, if, if your body is able and willing to operate on those hours, yeah, why not? You're just, you know, take it as a superhuman uh, and, you know, you just, <laughs> you just power through. <laughs> you definitely can't be lazy. I'm, I'm more of a, a laid back reserve person when I'm not competing. And you definitely, you definitely don't have time to be lazy when you're competing. No. And I learned that also with my water intake, even though, you know, the trainers that I've had is like a gallon, gallon and a half and that much water in me. I, I can't function. My body cannot function like that at all. Um, sometimes I can do a gallon, but most of the time it's up under a gallon where I'm just good, but I'm completely full. And even for this um, training um, for up to the Arnold, I was supposed to be doing a, a gallon. I started off with a gallon, but it just kept me like I was just completely bloated. I mean, I just felt out of my body. Like it was just too much water in my body. Gotcha. So, and normally on a normal for me, I really don't drink a lot, but I stay hydrated because of my skin, but um, I don't have to eat and drink. Mm -hmm. okay. and just drink a little at the end or whatever. And I'm good. But um, going into this prep, I cut it down to maybe a hundred ounces of water. And okay. I was fine. And when he was like, no more water, like, the day before the show, I'm like, I'm going to drink it anyways. So, and I wasn't feeling tired, fatigue or anything, dehydrated. I was none of that. None of that. Wow. Lips wasn't white. <laughs> Your body, everybody's bodies are different. And if you can come in in peak condition and be dry and still feel good being on stage, then hey, by all means, whatever yeah. works for you. Yeah. And that's another, that's another key point of this. Um, somebody listening to this right now could possibly like, when we post this to be like, Hey, um, she won, she's a pro. I don't have to drink water either. No, 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 no. That's not what she's saying for everybody. For her. It works for her. Right. So, so you know what I mean? So, um, don't just work on yourself, others who are watching this and then, you know, you apply it to yourself, which is what I feel like off season should be right. You try mm -hmm. things out, you know, you see what works for you. You, you do many meal, pre uh, meal preps that you do for maybe four weeks or five weeks at a time. And you see what works for your body because mm -hmm. 
you realize maybe fats do work for you. Maybe you can have avocado and cashews and, and nuts throughout your prep, or maybe you, you can have red meat or maybe your body thrives on red. Right. Um, Yeah. And that's any supplements. Um, I, um, like chromium, one of my, um, coaches had me on chromium, which I couldn't figure out for the life of me why I felt outside of my body, you know, after I took my supplements, like after, I think I was training in the morning and then chromium was like one of my supplements like after. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm fine up until I take supplements. I was like, something is not right. And continue, continue every day after training in the morning. I felt like crap the whole day out of my body. And I end up telling them, I was like, I think it's the chromium. Of course, we got into a, you know, an argument because he's the coach and I was like, but this is my body and right. something. And I was like, I don't think this is going to make or break me, you know, on stage or whatever. And right. he, well, I'm coach, you continue to, you know, take it or whatever. And of course, you know, I stopped taking it and I was right. fine. Of and he, didn't know, he didn't know the difference, but I'm like, you know, I, yes, yeah, I'm humble and listen to you. But if something's making my body feel a certain way, but then because that works for somebody else, yeah. Yeah. you think it's okay for me. No. So that was one of the things I was like, mm-hmm. yes. That's well, chromium does not work for me as an extra supplement. Right. And, you know, with that being said, I'm glad that you said this and everybody else can hear this. It is your body. No one knows their body more than the person living in it. If something does not feel right, you say it. Don't be afraid to speak to your coach and let them know what you're feeling so that they can figure it out and you guys can come to terms on fixing whatever issue or whatever it may be. But don't be afraid that that is super important. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. I, um, I was like, and I'm, I was like, and I understand if, you know, your body's going through transition and where you're cleaning up, you're getting carb depleted. And I can understand if we was going back and forth about I'm hungry. I need some more. No, I mean, that's part of the, you know, the game of this, but supplements, if it doesn't make you feel right, then, you know, speak on it. Absolutely. I love that. That's, a, that's a, honestly, that's a great way to, to, to end this because we could talk to you all day and um, you are a delight. You really have a lot to say and your story is is unique. You know, it's it's everyone's story is unique. So being able to talk about it and, and let people know that you're multifaceted and you're able to, 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 to win a show and just be so humble about it. I'm gonna need for you not to be as humble. Just just a little bit. <laughs> like, my yeah. try on an overall. Just, yeah, just, just a little bit. <laughs> Your trophy should be behind you at all times. You should go, it should be at your office at, at work. Okay. No, my trainer is more excited than me. I mean, you should see his pictures with me. He dropping the camera and everything. I'm like, what? He's like, he's like, say, say cheese. Right. <laughs> I don't know where when they said, and you know, in the new IMDB, you know, said my name. All of a sudden you just see his camera drop and you just hear him screaming. I'm like, <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. I mean, and that's a, that's a good person to keep by you. Yeah, I've always been humble. I'm, like I said, I don't like attention like that. I don't like being in the spotlight. I love being sexy, but I don't have to have the attention. <laughs> well, we got to <laughs> see you. I mean, come on now. You can't just be sexy for yourself. I mean, but you can compliment yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, I got to meet you in person at this Titan show. Uh, yes. Because we... <laughs> We gonna we gonna we gonna make sure that the sexiness is is walking around that entire auditorium, no matter what placing you get. Um, all right. On that note, Z, do you want to say anything? Do you want to close this out? Do you want to? Uh, yes. Um, again, Shane, thank you, thank you so much. This was a really great interview. We're so happy that we were able to actually speak with you. Um, and yeah, you heard it from us first on Beyond the Bargo first. To speak to the overall, overall Arnold Classic champion for both Masters and the Open, uh, Open Division. So again, congratulations to her. Um, again, thank you so much for you guys tuning in to another episode of Beyond the Barbell. 
NPC figure stars. Um, stay tuned. We will be announcing our posing workshop that will actually be on May 27th in Minneapolis. All details will be posted very soon. So stay tuned. And again, I am your host, IFBB Figure Pro, four-time Olympian, Nicole Zenobia Graham, IFBB Figure Pro, Lou Faustin. Peace. Take care, y'all. See you guys. Wait, hold on, hold on.